Hi and welcome to the Demolite Cookery Channel. So this is the fifth video in the outdoor pizza oven build series and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the brick tiles that go on the outside of the pizza dome once everything's been done. Now the reason that the brick tiles is the fifth video and not something like concrete in the dome is because we need to start making these brick tiles as soon as possible and the reason for that is you need about 150 of these tiles to complete the entire dome and the entrance tunnel so we need to get starting as soon as possible so this is going to be a relatively short video you know it's very easy to make these brick tiles once you've made the mold and if you want to know how to make the mold have a look at the fourth video in this series so the equipment we're going to need to make these brick tiles we're obviously going to need a mold so this mold the making of this mold is covered in the fourth video in this series so have a look at that we're also going to need a small bucket and also something to mix the um the color cement in so this is an old pointing trowel bricklayer's pointing trowel you're going to need something to actually measure out the sand and cement so this is a, a, a pot of ice cream I think there's these little pots of ice cream you can get in Lidl or Aldi's but a small plastic yoghurt pot will do exactly the same thing and give you the right quantity so there's no waste. We're also going to need some standard red building sand. Some standard Portland cement as well. As far as the dye goes for actually colouring the cement, so we've got red uh, cement powder or colour and then to add that black detail we've got black uh, colouring powder for cement and also just a, uh, a cheap brush paint brush in order to apply it with as a release agent so we need a release agent as well so the, the tiles once they're cured will demold um, easily so I'm using GT85 uh, any sort of lubricant style spray is ideal uh, this is just cheap from Aldi's about £1.99 so that's why I'm using that so the first thing we need to do is to measure out the sand and cement and the ratio is 5 to 2 so with your yoghurt pot or the small pot whatever you've got 5 building sand to cement that will give you enough to cover your 9 compartment mould I'm going to obviously use less in order to uh, fill these 6 compartments but it's the same ratio 5 to 2 so the first thing we need to do is to mix our sand and cement thoroughly we then take our red mortar colour Now it's not very scientific this but the way I measure it is just on the end of the pointing trowel just two of these so two heaped portions on the end of the trowel like that that is the bare minimum that you'll need to actually colour this mortar so what I normally do is in one batch I'll do two red and in another batch I'll do three and I'll just vary as long as I don't go down below the two um, portions that, that you need for the red uh, dye if you go less than that what happens is the brick tile will start to become grey and it doesn't look very realistic so two is a minimum then maybe another batch do three and just vary it so that you get a good variation around the, the actual pizza oven dome once these are obviously cured and you put in them on and that gives it a more realistic effect so you just mix this red powder in as best you can so the next thing to do now is to add the water and it's difficult to actually tell you how much water to add because it depends how wet the sand is there's a number of things that can affect it but what I'll do is I'll mix the water and show you the type of consistency that you're looking for okay so that's the water now added to the sand and cement unfortunately this is like a three bears kind of situation you don't want the mortar to be too wet if it's too wet and we start to put the black 
powder detailing what will happen is that black powder will just merge with all of the uh, red in the dye and, and it just won't look very realistic at, at all because we obviously if we're placing the black powder in a certain place we want it to stay there so don't have it too wet if you have it too dry it's not going to uh, flow out and get into all these little spaces so you basically want it so it's it's firm it stays in in shape on the trowel but it's still um, quite soft so almost well it'd be ideal if it was the same as a Britlay would use obviously when they're Britlaying so not too wet not too dry the next thing we want to do is we just want to put our release agent actually into the mold so make sure you get it just on all the edges just a light spray that's all and then just in the centre now we've got that we take our black powder and using just a standard paintbrush just dip that in so I'm just looking for I'm just well, what I'm trying to do is replicate the um, on the actual stand with the uh, flag stones on that the, the pizza oven's going to sit on top. I had a look at what old bricks I'd use there, what they look like, and I'm just trying to replicate that pattern. So just dab the black powder just quite randomly. And the next thing to do is just to fill each of these compartments. Once you've put roughly what you need in each compartment and just sort of pushed it out towards the edges, just get this a, a little shake, just keep turning it, just so that the, uh, the coloured mortar can find its way into all these little uh, spaces. Once you're happy that that's filled out all of the, the um, into all of the little nooks and crannies, you just want to skim any excess off the top. Okay, so this is now going to, well for me personally, this is going to go in, into our greenhouse because uh, it'll be a faster curing time. But depending on the weather, if the weather's cold, if you're doing this in winter, you need to cure these inside. You're looking at about eight hours to cure properly to demold. If it's a hot day and it looks like it's going to be a hot day here today and I'm placing these into the, um, the greenhouse, I might get away with a four hour demold but you'll just have to assess that yourself obviously it has to be quite hard you've got to be very um, careful when you're demolding especially if it's if there's still a, a little bit damp but we'll get to that um, obviously once this is cured i'll then show you how to demold these okay so these um, brick tiles now have been curing for about five hours it's a very warm day today uh, well it is for us in the north of the uk um, so I'm going to risk demolding these after five hours. My recommendation to you is, you know, start off with a minimum of eight hours cure and then you'll be able to obviously assess it from there. If you do break any, so if any crack in half when you're demolding them, save them because you will need halves for the design once you start going around the uh, pizza oven dome. So the best way I've found to actually demold these is take a nice fluffy cloth onto uh, a piece of wood, place it over the top of the mold, and then just turn everything over, and then just very gently just start to lift the wooden form, and hopefully you'll start to hear or you'll feel the actual tiles coming out from underneath.
Okay, so we haven't broke any. We've got little bits coming off at the side, but that's fine. It just adds more character to it. So that's what you're faced with now. Um, these still need curing, obviously, a lot more. Take about a couple of days to fully dry out. So I'm just going to leave these on the board for now, do another mix, and then fill these, um, fill this mould again, and you just start the process uh, over and over again. What I've found, though, is the best way I've found to do it is I've done a mix in the morning, obviously filled up the mould, gone to work, come back roughly eight or nine hours, demolded, do another one, let that cure overnight, and then just carry on that process. And if you do that, it'll take you with a nine compartment mould, it'll take you about eight days, I think, to get the amount of uh, tiles you're going to need to do the dome and the entrance to the pizza oven. But in that time, you also got to allow, obviously, for the uh, vermiculite concrete on the dome and the base to cure. So once that's cured, um, you should have enough tiles then uh, to actually complete the job. So there'll be, n there'll be no uh, delays in you completing this project. I told you it was going to be a quick video. And how easy is that to make those brick tiles? And they look so realistic when they're on the pizza oven dome pointed in between absolutely fantastic as usual please subscribe to the channel we've got lots more videos coming out and if you've enjoyed this particular video hit the like button thank you very much for watching we really do appreciate it